Yo, what's going on guys? So it's been about a week since Apex Legends has been released and there's quite a few tips and tricks videos already out there. I was going to make a, a basic one with all the like, hey guys, there's this and you can do this to reload, but I kind of want to change it up, make this one a little bit more advanced, show you guys a little bit of the secrets that I've been using. I'm already level 84 within a week. Yeah, I'm kind of grinding, no lifing it, but it's addicting. Uh, that's pretty much why I haven't made this video. So if you guys find any new tricks in this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and I'll be leaving the timestamps for some of the tricks and tips inside the uh, description. So check that out. With that being said, let's jump right into it. So to start it off, this one may seem really basic, but some people still don't know. You can actually heal while sliding down hills, which is huge in fights, because if you're running away and you're trying to slide, get the advantage, you need every advantage that you can, so healing can definitely help in that situation. This is kind of a trick tip. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I did this on accident. I was fighting and I was like, I wonder if I can get up there. I was like, huh, seen these mushrooms and I was like, all right, let's step on the mushroom. Oh, what? I can get on the roof? And yeah, so that's a, if you see mushrooms, you can jump on them. Basically, this tip is just look at your surroundings, see what you can use to your advantage. Now, this tip is another kind of basic one. It's basically positioning. If you see the circle here, don't be afraid to jump on the roof. You can shoot down at enemies. I've done this multiple times and actually have won games in these situations. This, they, they never expect it. Now, this one is my favorite. These doors, I actually figured out how to make it so that way they don't open. Uh, it took me quite a, a while, but I think I mastered it. All you got to do is look dead in the center, right in between the two... Uh, the two walls right there how do i explain it let's see you crouch he goes in there you have to look at the red thing and then look at the line that's basically what i use as a measurement to perfect this and you can use this in multiple situations it works everywhere not just market uh anywhere that has these big doors you can pretty much stop the doors from opening you're still over there <laughs> holy shit now this one is another kind of basic one uh you can use enemy healer totems whatever you want to call it the dock that's actually what it's called the dock but you can use their uh, totems to heal yourself so if you end up killing a, a healer and they have their totem up don't be afraid to use it Now here's another tip that I would like to give you guys. It's particularly in these buildings, you can actually jump in the window above. I missed my, my first one, but I've done it my second time. Bam. And you're able to catch them off guard. If I wasn't a potato, that would clip would look cooler. <laughs> now when you're on the roof of buildings, you can actually shoot between the crevices. A lot of people don't actually know these and uh, it catches people by surprise all the time. Here's another one where you can use grapples not only to go up or go places, you can actually use them to stop your fall. Because when you jump off of high places, you actually take a little like fall, not damage, but you take fall time. Now this one's huge as well. This basically makes the poison class kind of useless. You can actually disable his traps before even triggering them. All you got to do is shoot the trap before they explode and it disables the trap they just break but unfortunately when their trap is already exploded you can't destroy them mid so if it's already opened it, you can't destroy them you can also use grapples to get to other grapples to cover more distance Grapple. so you can use that to your advantage as well a lot of people don't do that Now this tip is another position, positioning tip that I would call it. You can actually stand on top of the corner inside these buildings. A lot of people don't actually check these spots when they, uh, when they push them.
Now again, this would look a lot cooler if uh, <laughs> I didn't whiff all my shots. But yeah, see, like, he went in there and he didn't even know I was up there, so that could definitely be used to your advantage. And this is an example to show that the, the large doors also work in other places, like Repulsor. Now this is a trick kind of like everybody should know already. Uh, you can actually stand on the opposite side of a door to stop it from being opened, but the pre uh, other people can cancel it out by actually kicking open doors. So if you're on the other side, it can be used to actually help you out in the long run. So like if you need a little bit of time and your teammates are pretty close, you can actually have them install. You can actually stall the enemy and have them come to your rescue. But there are certain cases where they will not make it there in time and it'll make the enemies rage and kill you anyways unfortunately this my teammates didn't come but these were randoms that i was playing with i was just recording this to prove that you can actually do this in a knock state or standing state now this one i didn't actually get footage of my teammate grabbing their beacon but you're able to actually recover anybody uh, you don't have to be the one to actually grab the beacon to recover. Now, this is another positioning tip. You can actually hide in trees. A lot of people don't know these and they don't actually check in trees. So be aware, you can actually escape from enemies by jumping into a tree. Now, this one is basically... A tip against the Gibraltar. Uh, even though he puts a shield up, you can use it to your advantage. You can just easily throw nades in there. Th now, this one is my actually my teammates, but I do end up going up against somebody else, and you can actually use the enemy's shields against them. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, but it's good to know that you don't take damage when you go in there, and you can also just run up in there and shoot and use it as your cover instead of theirs. And that's going to be it for the tips and tricks today, guys. If you guys learned anything new, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, hit that notification button so you guys don't miss an upload. I'll catch you guys in the next upload. See you in the trip side. Peace!